Hey, 42 here. Have you ever been cold? And I don't mean when your nipples get a bit frosty. I'm talking about freezing, frostbite inducing cold. The coldest settlement on Earth is Oymyakon in Russia, where temperatures average minus 50 degrees C and can drop to minus 71 degrees. At those temperatures, if you cried, the tears would instantly freeze your eyes shut, blinding you. And without proper clothing, you would surely be dead within the hour. But there's a living organism that has been with us long before the dinosaurs. A creature that has survived all five mass extinctions that would find these frigid temperatures no problem at all. The 600 million year old tardigrade. Tardigrades are micro-animals, approximately 0.5 millimeters in length. They have a digestive tract and eight little legs, but that's where the similarities to other animals ends. Unlike the residents of Oymyakon, who would perish if they went outside without at least 20 coats on, the tardigrade can survive at temperatures as low as minus 272 degrees Celsius. That is one degree above absolute zero, the lowest temperature physically possible within our universe. At these temperatures, even atoms stop moving. Even when it can't get any colder, the humble tardigrade just keeps on going. The tardigrade, sometimes called a water bear because of its little claws, is the most indestructible animal on the planet. They are practically immortal. As well as surviving the lowest temperatures in the universe, tardigrades can survive heat up to 150 degrees Celsius. Pressures six times greater than those found in the deepest ocean trenches on Earth and ionizing radiation 100 times higher than the lethal dose for a human. This little guy could literally chill out inside the reactor core at Chernobyl and be completely fine. But most amazingly of all and unique to this creature, the tardigrade can go without any food or water for over 30 years. But how? Well, they die. The tardigrade can dehydrate itself, like a ready meal from Back to the Future, to the point where it is less than 3% water. The human body is 60% water. In this ultra deep hibernation known as cryptobiosis, the tardigrade has no need for any sustenance and can sustain this state for 30 years, after which it simply rehydrates itself and comes back to life to forage for food and reproduce if it's in the mood. They don't technically die whilst dehydrated, it's more a state of suspended animation. And a single tardigrade can live to be over a century old. NASA sent thousands of tardigrades into space where they were sent out into the total vacuum of space for days on end, where they were subjected to massive solar radiation. They came back alive and well. What's more, some of the tardigrades had given birth to lots of little tardigrade babies out in the vacuum of space, the most inhospitable place imaginable. And the space babies were also completely normal and healthy on their return to Earth. To date, they are the only animal we know of that has gone defenseless into the total vacuum of space and lived to tell the tale. Some scientists even speculate that tardigrades are actually aliens and actually came to our planet from another planet such as Mars over a billion years ago. Because their DNA is so strange and unlike anything we've ever seen before. But these aren't some rare beast exclusively found under a single rock in Antarctica. Tardigrades are literally everywhere. Odds are you are only a few meters from a tardigrade right now. That's because they live in mosses and lichens. And where do you find moss? Well, it only covers the entire planet. They feed on plant cells, so the moss and lichen provide the perfect cozy and damp home. Although they do mostly eat plants, tardigrades have been known to cannibalize each other. And they're also not exclusive to moss either. They have also been found at the top of the tallest mountains in the Himalayas, inside hot springs in Japan, at the very bottom of the ocean, and deep within the Antarctic wilderness. So basically everywhere. You see, tardigrades just don't give a crap about anything. One of the most amazing tardigrade abilities 
is how they deal with the extreme cold. At extremely low temperatures, ice crystals can form inside the cells of a life form, ripping apart the cell's vital components, such as its DNA, which is always fatal to that organism. Some animals have evolved to cope with the extreme cold. For example, fish in cold regions make antifreeze that lowers the freezing point of their cells, stopping ice from forming and preventing fatal frost damage. The scientists, however, have found no evidence of antifreeze inside tardigrades. They're way too badass for that. Instead, tardigrades simply tolerate the ice forming inside their cells. They just don't care. Amazingly, they are able to quickly repair any damage caused by the ice crystals by rapidly creating antioxidants. They also produce nucleating agents that encourage ice to form around the cell instead of inside of it. But what is truly baffling about this tiny immortal bear is how it deals with extreme heat. At temperatures as high as 150 degrees Celsius, a cell's membrane should unravel and it would be torn apart. This would happen to all cells simultaneously, quickly killing the cell's host. Tardigrades have been heated to 150 degrees C for 15 minutes. And what happened? Absolutely nothing. It just carried on scuttling around as though it had been quietly sunbathing. Yet, scientists still have no idea how they do this. It shouldn't be possible for cells to survive at these temperatures, yet they do. Naturally, scientists are now studying the microscopic tardigrade to try and unlock the secrets of its immortality. Maybe we can steal a secret or two for ourselves. Thanks for watching.